people talking about, oh, LPNs are getting phased out. They're not real nurses. I got to pass the NCLEX. Same way you did. Well, I don't even know if they're talking about. You know what I'm saying? I have to pass the NCLEX. LPN, what you think the N stand for? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Vanessa. I'm a corporate baddie by day and I'm a nursing student by night. I'm a badass mom, 365, 366. Right now, I'm actually at work. I'm in one of our conference rooms just because I have not checked in and I need to check in. So first and foremost, second semester is almost done. Next week, I have my final unit exam and then a week after that is the final exam and then it's graduation not it's graduation for the whole school we're allowed to walk I'm not personally walking because I'm not done with the program yet the week following that we start third semester which is the final semester in my LPM program and we do pin I think the end of July I want to say July 26 don't quote me on that so with that being said this week has been because the last two weeks of the semester it has been a little hectic i have been at school every day thus far monday night tuesday night tonight i actually have to do it's not a clinical but we are going to interview with our partnering one of our partnering hospitals so we're going to be doing mock interviews they're going to be looking over our resume you know the whole nine trying to critique us and help us third semester starts may 17th and from what i've been told about the third semester is it's mostly hybrid meaning we're coming in only to take tests and um I think we have a skills fair that we have to do in third semester. So we're not coming in the building as often. And we have to find um, a preceptor who matches our schedule. And I think we have to do, I wanna say 90 hours, 90, 90 or 80 hours with them. So if I can find a baddie who does 12 hour shifts and she knocked them things back, um, we're in business because I'm not going to hold you. I want to knock out. I don't want to prolong and drag out my clinical hours. I actually just want to knock it out because whatever overloaded information we're going to have, I want that's what, what I want to be my main focus. So hopefully, fingers crossed. I get what I want. If not, then we're just gonna have to roll with the punches like we have been doing. <sighs> I can't believe I'm almost done. I mean, I should be able to believe it, but I can't believe I'm almost done. And the fact that I'm about to torture myself again when I apply to do RM <laughs> and have this same experience, but just getting those letters behind my name too, because we all have an end goal. Um, right now, my end goal, like I told y'all before, like I want to do aesthetic nursing. I don't mind working in the ER. Yes, LPNs can work in the ED and they can work in L and D and they're opening up OR. So don't count it out. All these people talking about, oh, LPNs are getting phased out. They're not real nurses. I got to pass the NCLEX. Same way you did. Well, I don't even know if they're talking about. You know what I'm saying? I have to pass the NCLEX. LPN, what you think the N stand for? You know, I went to school for this. You know what I'm saying? So don't discredit yourself. Don't, don't believe everything that you hear when it comes to LPNs. Look, you still a nurse. Okay, you a nurse baddie, you are still a nurse. As far as me getting my RN, obviously LPN and RN, two totally different scopes. So again, what I need to do, and what I personally want to do, there's nothing wrong with staying at LPN. Again, it's just two different scopes of practice. 
But what I need to do, because I want to open or if I want to work in aesthetic nursing, I have to at least be an RN. So I have to go behind and I have to get those letters, which I do see myself doing literally right after this. Bachelors is, well, once you complete the groundwork, which is clinical or clinical hours, the bachelors is actually paperwork. So I would do that online and probably have everything else set. That's honestly the highest I see myself going with a bachelor's degree in nursing. That's the highest as of right now. I could always, something could always happen later. Um, only because I've obtained my master's degree and I can correlate and everything. I can make it all blend together if I really wanted to. So MSN for me personally, it's, I don't see that happening. Nurse practitioner, that's a whole different ball game. As of right now, no. But if y'all want to do it, I will be, I'll be a biggest cheerleader because we need, we need, we need more of us in this field. The disparity is crazy. We need more of us. So please do not limit yourself, but also burnout is real. So take your time, think it through. And we use to achieve those outcomes. And what do we make sure we don't want to do that? Hey guys, so it's been a little while since I last checked in, but I am officially done with clinical rotations for second semester. So thank God. Um, well, for starters, today's Monday. I am sitting in the parking lot at work because I have a little time. I pre-ordered my Starbucks, so I'll just pick that up on the way and it's probably a long line anyway. So it's gonna take a little while to actually make my drink. So I'm just gonna fill you guys in what has happened. So again, OB clinicals are done, thank God. One of the um, managing directors, she gave us a little spill and she was like, you know, I did L&D for a little while and it's just too catty for me. I did not understand that can concept because it's like, what do you mean? I mean, like, you know, women are pregnant. Like, of course, they, you know, the hormones. I knew that. I found out what she meant during my, my clinical rotation. Literally, I'm the student there. I'm at the nurse's station. I'm ready to get report on my patient, what we need to do. I'm ready to be assigned to my nurse. And literally, literally, it's like I'm invisible and they are talking the dog smack out of a nurse that's presently on the floor. She's doing her rounds. I'm talking about they, you would have thought they hated this woman. Like they are talking to her, talking about her into the ground. And literally next thing you know, she comes to the nurse's station and then everybody's all smiles. And then talking to her as if they wasn't just talking mad junk about her. I can't, like I that's when i knew i was like this is the part where i just know me personally i'm the one that's gonna get singled out and in trouble because if i decide i'm a loner i'm an introvert so i do work alone i could work in teams however i'm gonna get what i need to get done so this is one of the times where me being alone you're gonna talk shit about me me being if i find that one friend who i feel like i could trust you're gonna talk shit about me like it, it either way you cut it you're gonna talk shit about me like this is one of those specialties where y'all are just like that and not every specialty is like that and i'm not saying every L D is, is like that but literally like you know the managing director she's worked with a different hospital and had that same she just had that same complaint so it's just amazing how we get to, you know, it's a new hospital, we're here, and literally I see what she's talking about within 10 minutes of being on the floor. But overall, OB was not bad. 
um, minus the caddy nurses. Um, I will say the display of professionalism after the fact is there. So um, that face mask definitely shows up. So um, be mindful of that. And that's also, and that's in today's society anyway. Just everybody's wearing this false mask and always has something, just a personal vendetta against you. And it's crazy because they were smiling in your face and you would never know that this person literally hates your guts. So discernment, guys. Keep your discernment on 100 because that was crazy to witness. Anyway, outside. Hey guys, so I'm back home um, earlier today. My phone said that my storage was full, and I'm like, that's a bold face lie, and it cut my camera off. So when I checked, of course I had free, free, free space, and I have two terabytes, so there's no reason why any of my Apple devices are full. But the only thing I could chalk up to was that Mercury's in Gatorade, and it's doing what it want to do, so I don't know. But apparently, I'm not the only person that it's happening to, so... But anyway, um, I'm actually on class right now. We're doing a Zoom. Um, we have a final tomorrow. So Tuesday, we take our final, and that's that's a wrap for second semester. Um, I have an interview tomorrow with the emergency department at one of the hospitals. So cross my fingers. I'm not going into work tomorrow. I'll be working remotely because I have a lot riding on tomorrow. I got an interview. It's my first interview, and I'm still in school, and... I have the final and I'm just all over the place. So with that being said, also because I'm impulsive, I just decided that I was going to go to Sephora. So if my face looks a little not blended in well, um, it's because I went to Sephora to try new foundation. I did big ass haul in Sephora. I wanted to try Fenty because I've heard nothing but great things. I smelled it before. I, all her stuff smells good. Not me justifying my purchase. I gotta study, so I will talk to you guys in a bit. Um, so I decided I'm going to listen to my Zoom and clean my vanity because it needs to be cleaned. Um, but anyway, my Zoom is going. I'm organizing my my vanity because it needs to be organized. Um, it needs to be organized because this box, free gift from Ulta, all Ulta goodies are in this box. You really can't see it. And then, we have the Sephora bag, which is sitting in the box. I need to organize all of this. I need to, we gotta get cute again, so. Good morning. It is Tuesday. Um, today is test day. Today is final exam day. Um, I'm not going into work this morning because I already know my anxiety is gonna kick in. And I have an interview for the um, ER today. And I kind of want to prep for that. Get my... I already have my resume printed out. I just want to, I guess, get my responses as clean and ready to go. I'll be sharing some of the questions she had asked me, how I responded. Um... And then right after that, I'm headed to take a final. Um, yeah, I'm gonna work remote, obviously, because I, I'm not into it. The most I'm gonna do as far as testing, or at least studying, is honestly, I'm probably gonna review some lab values and, um, it's just, I want to skim. I don't want to immerse myself into studying and going overboard. I just want to skim. I have to remember my ABG values. Um, 
normal potassium, sodium, chloride. Like, I just need to refresh my memory and use the memory tricks on how to remember those. Um, I have to go over some of the medications. See, depending on the topic, I could probably narrow it down. I just need to remember what does what. Um, what else? Dang, it's already 8.30. I'm logging into my work laptop right now because I'm just gonna... Y'all got me to like about 11. 11. My interview's at 12. I'm not gonna go in scrubs only because... Honestly, because I don't feel like changing into scrubs and then changing back out of scrubs to go take a test. So I'm, you're going to get this business attire, casual business attire, and then I'm going to go take my final. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to get my morning started and I will talk to you guys when I... get uh, a little bit before the interview if not definitely after because i'm gonna have a good time gap before i actually have to take my test so i'll talk to you guys in a bit 4 13 youtube opened um no it was just it was just I don't know. It was different. I didn't really have an interview because she didn't really ask me questions. I mean, she asked me when I was going to graduate. Um, she knew I was graduating either between May or July. And I told her I was with the LPN class. And she told me in the ER what the LPNs do. And it's very hands-on. And if you thought you wasn't going to practice your skills, you are. She was like, you'll be efficient on how to um, start uh, IVs real fast with within a week. Um, she did tell me that she has no day shifts available, and I was like, "That's fine. I want to work nights." And she was like, "She works nights, and it's a, it could be a doozy," which I understood. But um, for the most part, she was just really interactive. She was showing me where everything was, and I'm like, "Okay." And I'm talking to people, and there's no. The ambiance of the ER is always going to be fast paced, but you can tell the nurses there work well with one another. Like you can see that camaraderie there. You can see that teamwork there. Like I didn't see, obviously I look out of place because I was the only one not in scrub outside of patients. And you know, we're talking and I, this is my regular work attire, like, you know, to show you where I'm coming from. She knew I had a final exam today, so she wasn't even trying to keep me long. She was just like, look, Head in the game. She was like, just breathe. She was giving me words of encouragement. And, you know, we're going through the ER. And, again, I'm looking at how people interact. This is not the first time I've been in this ER. But, like, this is more so the time where I pay attention to how coworkers and nurses interact with one another. And for the most part, it seemed good. Like, someone asked, saw someone ask for something. And it was like, not, <sighs> like, you know what I'm saying? There was no attitude. It wasn't crazy. Everybody was working together which was going to be a question for her, but she already had said that. And not being funny, um, the girl who I had saw before during clinical and I was speaking to her, she said the same thing. She said as soon as she got on the floor, people knew her name. She, she didn't... Um, she had to orient herself. She's still orienting to everything, meaning it's, it's a hospital. It's a maze. I cannot stress that enough. Unless you already work in a hospital, you already know. But when starting off, for me, hospitals are mazes, like... You know, I get follow the signs, but, you know, that's follow the signs, patients, and there's follow the signs, and there's a whole nother maze that has to do with employees in the back of which way, and you just got to know which way you go, and then here's your badge, you can get access. It's a whole different ball game. But she did, um, she said the same thing. She said everybody knew her name, was very welcoming, very willing to teach, and that's what I saw. It wasn't like, this is what I'm going to tell you so we can get numbers. I actually saw that from the time that I was there. I got to observe. So 
we'll see how that goes what time is it it's gonna be one in about an hour or so i'm gonna head i'm gonna start getting ready to head out to take my final exam of semester two i'm gonna change out of these clothes it's very hot today it's like 85 degrees but um Deep breaths, Busa. I'm gonna go grab some lunch. Change out these clothes, grab some lunch. I'm not studying anymore. I'm gonna wrap up my work, log off early, and just decompress. Hey guys, so I'm at school right now. It's 3.20. My final is at four o'clock. Um, I do, what do I have? I brought my, the nursing bundle book that I showed you guys. Just because it had the values and everything that I needed on there. Um, just to refresh my memory. And how to do everything. I feel confident feel good so hopefully everything checks out I, I do have anxiety right now which is why I was I was praying no music no nothing I was just oh my god it's 90 degrees and I'm just in my car AC is on full blast and I'm like you just need to breathe you just need to breathe you just need to breathe we're almost there we're more than halfway there. So this, this test, then third semester, and then I get to start all over again. But um, I'm gonna decompress some more and I'll check back in with you guys after I take my test. Whew, my heart rate just went up. Yeah, I need to meditate. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. However, anxiety got the best of everybody in there. Um, the final is always a... It's a moment. <clears throat> it's a moment. But I passed. I'm going on to my third and my final semester. Wow. Okay. Whew. That's a lot. Oh my god, nursing school is a lot. Like, give yourself some props for going through any of this because it's always it's always something. It's always something. Nursing school tests you. Like, yeah, like you're taking a test, but it physically tests you all the time. Give yourself props because yo. It's a lot. It's definitely a lot. I'm planning my vacation. That's what I'm gonna do. As soon as this calendar gets released, I think we had the week of July uh, 4th, so the first week of July off, I'm going on vacation because it's needed. I need a mental break. I've been giving myself mental breaks, but I just need, I want a mental break on an island with a palm tree. I'm not gonna hold you, so. I'll be at work looking up vacations. But other than that, I'm gonna go drive and praise the Lord. And I will talk to you guys later.